how hard is it to keep them focused, you know, eyes on the prize and that sort of thing? Well, we talk about it continuously, and and I think that uh, uh, you know when we got together Monday night, I think it was, you know, that was a gist of what we were talking about, you know, and, and just like, hey, we, what a great run we're on, you know. It's not time to celebrate that now. It's not time to change who this basketball team is. It's not time to try to be somebody that, that you know, you're not. And, and that, that's kind of what I've talked to them about, just in terms of we have to do what we do. And, and there's, you know, a couple of, of standards in this program, and, and let's make sure we play by them wherever, whoever we're playing. Well, well hopefully we still have better basketball to be played. And I think if, if we are honest with ourselves when we watch the tape over the past few games, there's, there's still places that we can get better. Uh, and the worst thing that we can do is, is get complacent. So um, coaches do a great job of staying on us and, and really kind of getting our minds ready to go. And, and that's what it's about. Uh, coach all year talks about getting ready for March and getting ready for postseason play. And um, you know this, is, this isn't the time to, to get nervous or, or anything like that. This is where the fun starts happening. So hopefully we can, we can extend it and try to make it last as long as possible. How much pressure is on you guys at the President of the United States as you go into the Final Four? And Aaron, he likes your defense and mentions you. It's an honor, first and foremost. Uh, it's kind of shocking. We were we were all kind of watching it in the locker room before practice today, and um, it's it doesn't add uh, you know a ton of pressure. He he picked three other teams too, so um, I think where we came from uh, following the Wisconsin game, it was we really on our, by ourselves and alone. We were the only ones kind of believing in ourselves at that point anyway. Uh, and that's uh, an attitude and a mindset we've tried to carry over to now. Um, just because we've won a few games doesn't mean that uh, things have changed. We, we still, um, the, the formula is still the same. We still need to, to believe in one another. And, and regardless of, of who's picking us, who's not picking us, uh, it's really going to come down to us. Um, like DT said, we're, we're the ones playing. We're the ones that need to um, have the right mindset. And, and in order to do that, we have to lean on one another and, and hopefully play a couple, a couple more games. Uh, he's, he's a great man. Uh, you know, he's, he's got good taste. What can I say? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's good. The fact that this will be a different pace of play uh, with what Iona wants to do, you know, second mm -hmm. in the country in scoring. They shoot a lot of threes, um, make a lot of threes. Mm -hmm. and how big a concern is that for you, that, that change in tempo versus what you've grown accustomed to over the last couple months, for the most part, in big yeah. Um You know, Jared, I think this, we've seen – Segments of games, we, we've some teams, you know, Indiana plays fast, Iowa plays fast, Minnesota plays fast. You know, all those teams will, will definitely uh, stop and pull threes at, at you know, early in the shot clock, I should say. Um, this is just more of, of 40 minutes of it in terms. And, and as I told our guys, I said, hey, you, you know, it's kind of like you've had the leash taken off of you, you know, in, in, in terms of, of what we've sort of gone through. Uh, I don't think we've played anyone this year that tries to do it as much as they do. Uh, and they're obviously a great team. Uh, they have uh, a couple guys on their team that can really score the ball, uh, can really get out and, and put the ball in the basket in a variety of ways. So uh, it's going to be a, a, a big team defensive effort uh, this week. And, and that's what we're trying to work on, trying to understand. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to shoot it and they're going to make shots, and we just can't get discouraged. We've got to continue to come after it and try to take care of the ball and, and see what we can do. Jones, their guard, that's averaging 23 a game, uh, you know, one of the leading scorers in the country. What jumps out at you and him, and how key is the defense on him going to be? Yeah, I tell you, he can, he can score a lot of ways. Uh, first, you look at, I mean, he's attempting over seven foul shots a game, and he shoots like 89, 90% from the free throw line. Um, but he's got, he's just, he's got a lot of stuff to his game in terms of uh, threes, you know, off the ball screens. He'll pull in transition, but he can get inside and he, and he finishes uh, at a very high level. I mean, he's got mid-range floaters. He's got, you know, to the rim, spinning off the glass. Uh, just just a, lot of, a lot of ways that he can score. And in terms of, of stopping him, I think you've got to attempt, attempt, which is easier said than done, to uh, keep him in front as much as you can and, and just have great awareness of where he is at, at all times and, and probably knowing that the green, the, the light doesn't get any greener for him.